Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Today, Atomic announced a bunch of new skis for 2025. Uh, the Bent 100 and Ben Chetler 120 both get updated. We get a new Maverick 105 and Maverick 115. The Maverick 100 goes away. Those two new skis get some new construction elements. Uh, Backland 101 and 109 replace Backland 100 and 107. Uh, similar on the women's side as well, uh, although we didn't have a Maven 100. Now there's a Maven 103, which I really think helps round out that collection. And then similar story on the women's Backland side, although I believe it's 100 and 108. Um, this is a little different than our normal videos, so I thought I would kind of give a special introduction here. Last week I had the chance to go out to Monument Ranch in Utah with the Atomic crew. Um, there were probably 10, 10 of us guests, uh, and then we also had Chris Benchetler and Chris Rubens and Darren Rolves, who are kind of instrumental in developing those different lines. Chris Benchetler, obviously, with the Bent line. Uh, Darren Rolves is really, really doing some cool stuff with Mavericks, and then Chris Rubens um, had a lot, a lot of influential decision making in the new Backlands. So it was an incredible trip. Um, this video, I really just wanted to like share the experience. So this won't be as technical as most of our kind of initial product videos or product announcements. Uh, the skis are actually on their way to us, at least the demo skis are on their way to us. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. We will have videos kind of diving into the construction of all of those skis. We actually tested tested a bunch of them the week before, or two weeks ago. Um, so not only have I skied them in Utah, but we skied some of them here in Stowe as well. Um, so yeah, this video is, I think, I, th I hope people enjoy it. Um, it is a little bit long. I really, I had a, a ton of footage to go through and I tried to trim things down as best as I could. Uh, I did make one mistake in kind of the secondary intro to this video that you'll see out from Monument Ranch. Uh, I think I called the Backland 109 the uh, the Backland 115. So mixing up Backland and Maverick in my head, and and you could kind of tell that I was just overwhelmed with excitement. Um, so yeah, look out for more videos. In the meantime, let us know if you have any questions. I'm gonna leave some links in the description to this video um, that'll take you to Atomics kind of product pages for these new products, so you can learn more there. Um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. Huge thanks to Atomic, huge thanks to everyone at Monument Ranch, uh, Powder Mountain, just, just everyone involved definitely made this a, a special and memorable trip. So hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Bases. Bases on the 100s are always too much black. Is that too a, much is that a cost saving decision? No, it's a fixing for like demos and rentals. So oh. easier to yeah. fix. Black features. <laughs> Yeah. You ready for this creative, dynamic shot we've got going here? Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Uh, quite a scene behind me. I am here at Monument Ranch in Utah with the Atomic crew, and this place, we'll just do a quick 360, is, is just magical. Um, testing a bunch of new skis. There's new Bents. We got a new Bent 100, new Bent 120, uh, new Maverick 105, Maverick 115, some new Backlands as well. Um, so we're going to be doing a whole bunch of that stuff on this trip and I don't know what this video will end up being. It might just be kind of a trip report video where we talk about each ski and kind of my experience on each one in this environment. Um, we're starting off hopping onto these UTVs to access some touring terrain and I'll be skiing a Backland 115. So 
wish me luck. I don't often wear avalanche beacons, so, you know, a little bit outside of my Vermont comfort bubble. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll have some awesome skiing footage for you and talk to you soon. nicer down here out of the wind yeah exactly. i know i was chilling up there too i normally like skiing a puppy but first day in the real work uniform okay everybody hear me you're out of the wind i just want to point out very quick that's our west monument terrain that's our you know 1500 foot to up to 2500 foot terrain it's just lacking the coverage right now so um everything you see here is ours um, I'll call you from down there and we'll confirm. Okay. You guys, unless I say otherwise, let's go with 15 second spacing. Okay? Copy that, sending them down. You're all good to go. Sweet. It's a little heavy watch for stumps. Okay. Yep. There, oh yeah. There. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I wanted to take it longer, but we just don't have the coverage. I just don't want to get anybody hurt. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm used to skiing in Vermont, where there's stumps and rocks everywhere, so <laughs> I'm always on the lookout. Stump here. Stump here. Stump. Yep. That's nice. It's like bouncy snow. Yeah, yeah especially with, that, with like, my in track. Probably you can get more.
road. <laughs> Good when you can hit the ground with your scoop <laughs> Slopes, we're not getting cracking collapse here. That's what I was looking when whoever just came above me. We're getting any cracking on mellow slopes like this. There's a little bit. Uh, let me know if anybody needs assistance. Excellent. You. No. She did not. <laughs> we're just we're just all paws up here. <laughs> Try 
Crunch. Early season conditions exist. Yeah. <laughs> sure. We got it, Carl. We got eyes on. Where you is want to do that or you want to do some footage? <laughs> you want to do some It's still the bee. Yeah, that's the bee. Yeah, the bee. Right down that way. In this drainage right here? Yeah, we've got yeah. no one on snowboard, so it's kind of got a bit of a flat run out. Okay. Um, actually, I'll stop just before the flat run out so we can sort of run it out together. Sound good? Yeah. I make a noise like this. Gooey! <laughs> so if you come towards that, that's it? good. And I'm wearing a red jacket. <laughs> I can tell you're just, a kiwi because of that noise. And yeah, yeah. Stay yeah. left of your tracks. Left of my tracks. Sound good? Yeah. I'm going to go on the other side of this tree here just to make that give me plenty of room. Oh, you don't want, you don't want to give me room. We have to have no. a threesome. No. Should I, I should go first? Yeah, give him the right. GoPro? Yeah, 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 you're right. How can you ever film you? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. I'll be right behind you. Best run ever. There's a stick under there. <laughs> I was going to try to butter. We'll okay. redeem ourselves. and I hit a stick. I know, I just put it out. The pitch was okay though. Was I got awesome. a little bit of a... Oh, there's a stump there. You'll just catch a bit of cold smoke. <laughs> side of me will kind of party ski it. It's pretty low angle, pretty low key run, but on the nice side of things, it takes us all the way down to the earth village. Um, I'll stop at the bit where there's, and you'll see me pointing so you don't miss the earth village. I don't think you will, but I'll be there pointing, so just ski on past and the village. Hey, uh, don't get too close behind the camp, we'll probably catch him up. Okay. Cool. We might even wait and let him go past. Right, yeah, Jewel? Actually. Yeah. It's like hidden rocks and it's 
Like a snow snake, snake situation yeah, over there. The yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Everybody, I'm here with the man himself, Chris Ben Shetler. Uh, we both happen to be skiing on your new 120s. Yes, we do. Um, and why don't you just give us a quick update on what's changed? Well, we <clears throat> the biggest change is the focus on, that Atomic's taken on all of the environmental side of the ski, just the reduction sure. in our in the eco eco side so we've changed the wood core which less fiberglass more wood yep again so it changed the flex pattern a little bit and which we were just talking about yep. before we turned the camera on i've always mounted at factory line i know i get asked that a lot and we're mounted here today too it is extremely deep today and with the new wood core profile i think i'm gonna start trying them one or two lines back from the factory line. Yeah, just because you don't get that flex out of the tip Yeah, as exactly. Much. They're just a bit more yeah. stable underfoot and it kind of, it progresses into the tip a bit more. Totally. And we have changed the Horizon Tech as well, which is a new tip design and also a little lighter weight. So the blend yeah. with the wood and the lighter weight tip kind of gives it just a slightly different feel. It gives it a little stiffer feel. I know that was a lot of people's uh, feedback was it was almost a little too soft so just by being more environmentally conscious it kind of headed us in that direction naturally sure. which is cool yeah um, and like it's stiffer sure yep but i wouldn't want people to get the wrong impression no it's, it's still, still like ski. ultra playful yeah, totally, like totally. super energetic super yep. poppy and snappy yeah just super fun to like bounce around on stuff yeah and that's i mean that is the ski has just always been an extension of me and the way I like to ski and yeah. still very much is. So yes, that is a great point. We're talking minute right. percentages here. Right. But, I always but, feel like it's worth pointing that out. No, like if is. you it's like good. bring up that a ski is stiffer, like we're talking like marginal differences yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, of but course. Of course. It's not like you know, it's not like this is now a maverick. No. And nor should it be. No, because it is still the playful ski that it's always been. Yeah. And I mean, it's worth, yeah, worth noting that it's enough of a minute difference that I'm gonna play with some mounting position. Yeah, and I, re I really like that. And what is the, fa like what's the factory The factory mount? line is three centimeters behind the center of the ski, yeah. so. Right, and which it, for most people, like what we're skiing today, yeah. is a handful, yeah, three totally. back from center. from center. Yeah, exactly. So, And I've always loved, the reason we put the factory line there was because of the swing weight. Yeah. of the ski and just how it pivots and yeah. how it releases and turns and everything that I like to do on a ski. And like ma maintains a bit of freestyle influence. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. I still like to land backwards. I know not everyone does, but even butters, spins, yeah. just actually wind, wind drag when you're in the air and, and just swing weight of how the ski pivots and turns, whether you're on snow or in the air, makes a difference. Totally. So, that's kind of where we landed with that mounting position in the first place. And uh, these skis that we're on are obviously being made in the factory as we speak. So maybe that factory line will change in the future, <laughs> but right now sure. I'm gonna go one or two back. But yeah, I'd say just the biggest thing is is that, and then we made some big changes to the 100. Those are yeah. probably the biggest changes. No, the, the 100 yeah. sweet. I, we were talking about that last night. I had a chance to ski that last week, and it's just so awesome. It is really it's fun. Like, we completely changed the mold on that one, and it has all the 
the eco yeah. upgrades as well. And I don't want to start spitting out the our carbon reduction. Sure. Exactly. In case you, percentages. In case you misstate something. Yes, exactly. Because each ski is different based on what what was in the ski initially. Yeah. But uh, but they are all reduced, and we're making making an effort. And with more wood, less fiberglass. That's an awesome way to accomplish that. And, totally. Uh, it, it definitely like changes the feel too. Yeah, totally. Like a little bit more uh, supple. Yep. A little bit smoother. Yeah. Like I don't want to say more robust because they're not necessarily no, that, robust, yeah, but like. Be. Be there's wise with our words there's something, there's something about it yeah <laughs> yeah maybe a touch quieter too yeah totally yeah and it's i mean testing them on a day like today where every turn is a face shot is kind of the yeah. ideal scenario well it's like it's fun for me you know being based in vermont like yep. we've talked about that with specifically with this ski plenty where like you can kind of analyze what it's good at yeah but how many days in vermont do we guess like that's like you like you benefit from a 120 yeah you know like we often like talk about how like the vent 110 is kind of like the east coast equivalent to the vent 120 yeah totally. so for me being able to ski it kind of in its uh natural habitat <laughs> is is really nice yeah so it is uh, uh should we keep skiing i think so we're about to the top of the lift here but sweet thank you all for yeah. watching thanks if Chris. you do watch Someone will watch. All right, perfect. So, yeah, you're thanking it. somebody. That's good. That's good.
Yeah. That was so good through those trees. <laughs> quite sure <laughs> where we're going but Chris knows where he's going I think oh yeah This is a lot of ski, huh? It is a lot of ski. <laughs> I'm glad I got on it, but I definitely like that oh, are one. Are you on the big? Are you on the no, long this one? is the 185, but okay. still. Yeah. I'm liking these, man. Thanks for swapping. Isn't that with sick? Me. Yeah, they're fun. Like I like that more than this. Yeah, I think that might be uh, a little more, a little more. They're just a little quicker, a little more agile. Yeah, for sure. And they float just fine. Yeah. 